Let us take one example. J, K and L were equal partners in a firm. The firm has taken individual life policies of rupees 50,000 for each of the partner. J died on 5th March. The surrender value was 2,000 for each policy on the date of the death of J and the amount payable to J in the respective policy will be. Let us look at the options. A, it says 17,000. B says 18,000. C, 50,000. And D, 54,000. <coughs> J on death would be, what would J be entitled to? Mind you, this is entirely the policy of the partnership firm. So, all partners share in the surrender value of the policy amount as per their profit sharing ratio. So, what happens on the death <coughs> of the person? Each individual policy, J's policy matures, so 50,000. This amount is received by the firm and J will get his share in this. K policy is not matured but the surrender value is 2000. L's policy is surrender value. So this is surrender value, this is surrender value and this is the maturity amount or policy value. Totally this is 54000. Now out of this 54000, what is J's share? equal divided by 3. 54,000 divided by 3, they get 18,000. 18,000 would be the share, of, J's share of policy, joint life policy or individual policy, the share in the life policy which would be credited to J's account. <coughs> So, maturity amount or policy amount of the deceased partner and the surrender value of the individual policies of the other partners. Deceased partner's share in this total amount will be credited to his capital account. Next, A, B, C are partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. C died at the end of the fourth month of the accounting year. The firm's balance sheet on that date shows a general reserve balance of 25,000 and fixed assets of 12 lakh. The assets were revalued to rupees 13 lakh. Profit of the last year was 50,000. Joint life policy 10 lakh. The executors of C will get along with capital an amount of. What will he get? He will get a share in the general reserve. Amount is 25,000. Who has died? C has died. Ratio is 2 by 10. So he will get a share in the general reserve. 2 by 10 of general reserve that is 25,000. <coughs> he will get 5,000. Next, fixed assets of 12 lakh. The assets were revalued to 13 lakh. That means there is an increase, a revalued amount. Increase in assets is by 1 lakh. So 2 by 10 of 1 lakh, 20,000. Next profit of last year was 50,000. So what is the share of profit now? Share of profit. What is the profit? It is 50,000 for the full year. Therefore, for 4 months, it must be 4 by 12. And what is his share? C's share as we've computed is 2 by 10. This would come to 3,333. 3,333. <coughs> Next, you have a joint life policy of 10 lakh, joint life policy 10 lakh, 2 by 10 of 10 lakh. That is equal to 2 lakhs. Therefore, and there will also be capital, along with capital, he will get an amount of 2 lakh 
plus capital will be received by the executors of C. <coughs> Capital, share of general reserve, share of revaluation profit, share of profit up to the date of death in the current year, the share in the maturity value of the joint life policy. <coughs>